The Miami Heat came up short last season in hopes of getting back to the playoffs. Clark, their road record didn't help them much. Yeah, 17 and 24. I don't think you can be that far under 500 on the road and hope to play in the postseason. There's a screen. Williams kicks to Fry. Another three for Cleveland. They are wreaking havoc on them with the three-point shot here. The defense has no answer right now. Even when they've gotten a hand up, it has not seemed to matter. And how about for the Heat having the best road record of any team that didn't make the postseason in the East? But as you said, struggling on the road will sink a team battling for a playoff spot. Anderson, a screen on Johnson. And Shumpert kicks to Fry. That's good. I, I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. Miami's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. You know, one final note, guys, on the Heat and their road losses. They ended up going only 2-8 and eight in their last ten road games of the year. That was a big part of how they fell out of the eighth playoff seat. And Cleveland making a change here. James has checked in. Here's Babbitt. James covering. Nobody near Williams. Misses the three. They've shown effort and aggression in the paint right from the tip. Their rebounding edge is impressive. And they're giving themselves extra possessions and have taken advantage of it. And that's critical. You can shoot a few lesser percentage if you're getting more opportunities at the rim. Well, that's a warm-up jumper there. I mean, when you're a pro, you can't make excuses for missing that one. 137 left in the game. Williams kicks to James. He dents the rim with a two-handed slam. Wow. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for the Cavaliers. Clark, the bench gave him a big lift in this game. Yeah, you always like to see that, Kevin, when your reserves can perform and help you pull out a win. And ever win important. And this one will go down as win number three. And at key points in this game, they stayed committed to their brand of basketball. That's why they'll be taking the front end of this three-game season series against the Heat. And as usual, great numbers and a dominant display for James. And the way he was able to dice up their D with his passing really made things easy for everyone else on his team. Looking at who's out there now for the Cavaliers. Love check in for Anderson. And Dudley subbed in for LeBron. Williams kicks to Love. From six feet, shot is off. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. Outside Williams. Williams against Johnson. Now Weber. Five to shoot. Takes a three. Makes that one his sixth of the night. Shooting a very healthy six for nine. Here's Williams. 40 seconds left in the fourth quarter. It's a pick by Love. Williams kicks to Love. It's good. Great play by
by Williams to set it up. Well, they're going to walk out of here with a win and send this crowd home happy. Yeah, you know, it was a real solid performance for them in a lot of areas. I mean, they should be proud of their work tonight. And, and that was the last thing they needed. Now the clock is stopped, and they put them on the line. Yeah, and I'm confident Coach was reminding everybody, don't foul at the start of that possession. Obviously, he didn't get the message. And he sinks the second. There's 25 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Soft touch off the glass. Just look at how quickly the lead has grown here over the last few possessions. Clear case here, partner, of saving their best for last. Quite a run. And here's Weber. Puts up a three. Can't get it to go. So we see the Cavaliers take... The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Welcome back, Ernie Johnson, along with Shaq and Kenny the Jet. Let's quickly move forward now to the LeBron James. We all know, anytime you got LeBron James on the floor, he's going to bring that will to win. He has so many tools in his arsenal he can throw at you, not to mention his defense. Literally, any night he can take over a game. Tonight we saw King James exert his will on the game. I can't imagine a player having a better night from the field than he had tonight. His shooting percentage was off the charts. He used every trick in the book to get those high percentage shots. He shot from every direction, and there was a little bit of luck here and there, but he was on fire. And that brings us to the end of our broadcast.